Hour, joined here by West Texas A&M head coach Jason Scooch, one of the student athletes, Cameron Hayes, and Lord Bruton. Uh, coach, would you go ahead and just give a few statements about the match tonight? Uh, congrats to uh, BBU. Um, we've played a lot of the Harlem teams this year, so, or we traditionally play a lot of the Harlem teams, and this year we played Permian and Fort Smith and St. Mary's, and um, two of those teams are in there. Their conference tournament only has four teams, and so we played uh, two of the teams, that, or three of them, sorry, Lubbock finished second in their league, because of provisional, they couldn't play the postseason. So we played three of their top four, top five teams, and so it's it's it's, it's a Fort Smith is a very big team, and, and they've made the playoffs two years in a row. So I can see now why DBU um, upset them in the conference tournament. So uh, congrats to them on a good season. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's a bittersweet match because our serving was sensational, and our serve receive was sensational. Um, and I'll, I'll use these girls as an example. Kia all years had a problem like moving to dig a ball. So she's moving 20 feet to her right to dig a ball. Um, and then she's spastic. So it's easier to motivate her because like she's doing that. So we're saying, yeah, good job. And then, then we'll do something silly and fundamental. And so like the nerves had a set one and maybe you saw that. Um, and we settled down. In set three though, I just, I just wish that we could have finished stronger because I don't think the opponent changed to dictate that the game should have bounced back where they were mounting the comeback. So we did good. Serve and serve receive was really good. Um, uh, we, we had some really good defensive moments, some really, really good stuff. The block was amazing. Um, and then we had some really cool individual plays where Haley dumped it over on one or two. And we had some really good digs. Um, the, the middles did really good on blocking and knowing when to come off. Um, I guess I got I got to chill out because I'm, I'm looking for the complete game, and and so there's a few things that we messed up on at the end. But we won 3-0, and that's important because the team that we play tomorrow, fortunately, uh, had to go to five. Cameron, what was going on serving wise? Like, I think you had four or five aces in this match. What was going so well for you? Um, I was just really focused on just hitting the spot and that one girl was she was asking for it every time so I wanted to make sure if she was asking for it then she's gonna like get served. So that was really my main focus. Chris, what do you think was kind of working for you guys in terms because overall as a team you guys had several reasons. It was good. We actually um we've been working on a lot and uh, you know Cameron did sensational and then we there was something we talked about when they started overloading the side and then she was actually ninety five like that's how we want our serves and very end she saw them overload again, and she served a cupcake. The zone one, right? You know yeah, what I'm talking about? Yeah. But um, besides that, we're serving flat and aggressive, and um, that little barrel is a real deal. So that was what was cool. Is that little barrel had some great digs, some passing, so we just stayed away from her. Um, but again, it's I guess that is cool. We've been working on that, so that was cool to see that. Um, but we work on other things in practice too, so you can have to see that. <laughs> and, uh, the other week girl was really strong. Did that motivate you at all to try to, you know, match what she was doing over there and just vice versa? Because you had a really strong game as well. Yeah, it does. Because ever since the beginning, this coach and Casey especially have told me that you should play against the other Libero. And if she's beating you, you need to take cues from her as well. Um, kind of like Tarleton's Libero is really awesome. And just like trying to trying to match her and play as strong as her. We'll talk about what it means to win and move on to the next round. Just each one. Well, uh, <laughs> I they, they just told me there's 32 teams left, and I, I told them to act like it. There's only one well, more 36 teams left in the tournament, and so it's like coach there's 32. I'm like, all right, great. <laughs> so um, that's a really good thing. So now it's even less. So um, it's good. The, the tough part about this job is is there's expectations I've had because of some of the success my team's had in the past, and the, the expectations of the program. And it is tough to balance that with this is this team's first time. And so there's there's that's the problem is like they're winning. I need to probably I probably need to sit there and be a little bit more happy about it. But I also know like there's things we gotta fix or it's gonna hinder us. But that's the balance. Okay, we won, yay, and because this is the first time Cameron is a, a leader of the team. Britain, you know, Haley has always been a role player, Laura's always been a role player. So it's, it's a weird dynamic because this is their first time, realistically, with such a heavy role. Oh, it's a huge deal to move on. And like, we see the national tournament as like our main goal, but like each game 
is an individual goal that we want to accomplish and we know we have to accomplish to get there. And so, we, I mean, each time we win, it's like a huge deal. We're, we're just so happy and grateful. I, <laughs> I agree with that because Nationals is our goal, but we know that nothing's promised the next day, so we're just trying and focusing on the game next, not farther down the road. So winning tonight was great because this is what we've been focusing on, and now we can move on to the next game. Yeah, the team we play next round is really good. Nationals and our next Regis, they beat you guys earlier. Um, he actually even said it may have been the best thing to happen to your guys this season is losing to them. So just kind of talk about it going head to head with Regis next. Yeah, good coach, really, you know, great person, and uh, really, obviously, a really good coach. And uh, that was the funnest game so far. That was an amazing match, man. Both teams were swinging, and the digs were quality, and just some sharp plays. I don't know if anybody saw it, but they hacky sacked a ball over, and um, uh, so I think it'll be fun. Uh, it'll be, it'll be uh, again, we we present a different setup compared to Metro, who they play, and those two teams. I was told under five miles they're from each other. So that, that's like us against Angel, you know what I mean? So they're going to know each other. So, um, But it's really cool because I don't know how Reed just finished fourth or fifth in the re, uh, conference because the way they played tonight, that's – I mean, so far they that's been the best play uh, of the four matches. That they, they did great. So it'll be interesting. Um, uh, I think we are much improved since then. But from watching them tonight, so are they. So it should be fun. Um, but, again, this is – we told the girls, like, there's a lot of pressure, but at some level we got to enjoy it and want it. And so we have a chance to play a, a, a team like Regis, a team that beat us to get to the to the finals. And so um, I, I think regardless of the outcome, I think our girls are the right mindset, and I, I, I feel good about it. Um, but we did our job this year. The goal was to host because these girls, she knows that we traveled, what, five days in San Angelo, two-day break, five days in Regis, two-day break, and then, and then five days or three or four days in Pensacola. And so we, I just need to remind them tomorrow, like, let's take advantage that we haven't had to be the road warriors. You know what I mean? And, and so um, it'll be fun. And uh, just overall, what are you expecting out of the match tomorrow? I'm excited. I've been waiting for it all season. Ever since we lost, I was like, I cannot wait to play them again. Because that was, I mean, that was a crucial game in our career. And we were in the third game and up. And it's happened a few times in the season. And we're like, do not let this be the Regis game. We're not going to let it, like, be stolen from us again. So I've been waiting for it, I'm ready. So do you think overall that, that loss may have helped propel you to where you guys are now? I didn't realize till the conference tournament. Someone told me we hadn't lost since that tournament. And um, uh, I, I go back and forth about scheduling, but with the new team, you can say it's an hindsight. Getting our butts kicked was, again, probably the best thing for us because we've had some kids that had, issues, had struggles buying in and all that. So um, you know, no one wants to lose, and but Realistically, it was probably the best thing because we won an undefeated in our tournament and attitudes and behaviors didn't change because we were winning. And those teams, man, Florida Southern was amazing. And we let Metro back in, but or, I'm sorry, Regis, but again, di the difference with Regis compared to other teams is other teams you can invite back into the match and they don't take advantage of it. Regis realized it and went for it. So, yeah, I would say so because I can't believe, like, it's amazing what the girls have done. So I, I like Cameron's mindset, and, and that's the mindset of, that all the players are going to have need going on because, again, we've gotten a lot better, but watching tonight, Regis has, has improved as well. Coach, any final comments? Uh, bundle up, it's cold outside. Sounds <laughs> good again. Uh, West Texas a and will play Regis tomorrow night in the nightcap of uh, 7.30 semifinals. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thank you.